Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Harry Hoy, the Oxford Laureate Baroque Art Critic, and today we'll be highlighting the subtleties to the Baroque Art Movement. To start, Baroque Art was an artistic movement occurring in the late 1600s, popularized in Roma Italia before spreading throughout the rest of Europe. Of course, this also manifested in the northern parts as well, taking a more humanistic approach. But the crux of the Baroque art was that it was for the common man. The movement demanded art not be for the highly educated and the rich, but for that anyone could appreciate the beauty of Baroque art. Instead, it can be recognized by its exaggerated motion, its drama, tension, exuberance, and grandeur through clear, easily interpreted details. The style was encouraged by the Catholic Church and often communicated religious themes and deep emotional involvement. That's right, the Catholic Church was behind this as well. Others saw the exaggerated style of um, Baroque art and applied it to architecture. They created opulent buildings full of stylized staircases and grand reception halls to display power and class. <clears throat> it is during this artistic movement that the phrase Teatro Mundi came into being, or for you who do not speak Italian, the world is a stage. The stage allowed all forms of Baroque art to converge from painting to architecture to music. Many new technological advancements were created during this time and are still used today, such as mechanisms to turn the stage and pulleys to allow actors and actresses to soar. Baroque art is exciting and dynamic and expresses great emotion, and with that, I say the world is a stage and yours to make.